This video is 10.2 part 2. So example 2 says sketch the curve represented by the parametric equations, indicate the orientation of the curve, and write the corresponding rectangular equation by eliminating the power parameter. Sorry. So it's the same directions as before, we just have different kind of functions. So these are not both linear equations this time. So the graph is probably not going to be um, a line like it was before. I'm guessing it might look more like a parabola, but we'll find out as we go. Again, they didn't give me any bounds on my um, parameter, so I'm going to use the same values as I used before. t equal to negative 1, t equal to 0, t equal to 1, and t equal to 2. Um, depending on what the graph looks like, I may want more negatives and I may want more positives, but it, I just pick these to start off with. So for x, I will get, if I plug in negative 1 there, I'll get 2 for x. And if I plug in negative 1 here, I'll get 1 for y. If I plug in 0 for x, I'll get 3. If I plug in 0 for y, I'll get 0. If I plug in 1 for x, I'll get 4. Here, I'll get 1. 2 for x, I'll get 5. And 2 here, I'll get 4. So if I graph this... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, let's see, we start off at 2 and 1, then 3 and 0, then 4 and 1, and then 5 and 4. And so remember, you have to draw these, and they're not necessarily straight lines because you do see that it's curving, right? And then it can be assumed that it is coming in this direction, same way, and it will continue in that direction, the same way. Okay, so it does look like a parameter. If you, I mean, a parabola. If you keep imagining this part, it will look like a parabola completely. So what that means is we've graphed it. This part's done. Now we have to. Um, eliminate the parameter, write the equation, which I am thinking it's going to be the equation of a polynomial of a quadratic, because that's what maps out to be um, poly parabolas. So let's see, if we take this and we solve for t, we get t equals x minus 3. If we take this one, we get that um, t equals the square root of y. Okay, so then if I go and I say, take these equal to each other, and this really would be plus or minus. So there really is like two equations here. However, in order to solve for y, I would have to square each side. And then it wouldn't matter if it were plus or minus because when I square it, it's gonna come out positive. And the square root of y squared is just y. Here, though, there's two binomials multiplied to each other. So I have to FOIL that out. And I end up with this trinomial. And so then now I have the equation. And just like I suspected, since this looks like a parabola, the equation is a quadratic equation. So example three says write the rectangular equation corresponding to the parametric equations by eliminating the parameters. So here they don't necessarily want us to um, graph it. They're not asking us to do that. They're just asking us to find the equation without the parameters. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. So the first thing we wanna do is if, and this one's not gonna be very hard to solve for t, um, it's not like this one here where I can just add the 6 over and I've already solved for t. This one would be a little bit more complicated. So what you can do is instead of solving each one equal to t and then setting them equal to each other, you can solve one of them for t and then plug it into the other one. So everywhere I see a t here, I'm going to plug in x plus 6. So this becomes y equal to x plus 6 over x plus 6 minus 6. So we end up with x plus 6 over x. And if you want to simplify that, you can divide both terms by x and you get 1 plus 6 over x. Okay. 
Now typically the computer will accept this, but if they don't, you may want to try to reduce that fraction if you can, um, but it should accept that as your final answer. Okay, um, example four is going to take a little bit of time, so I am going to stop this video here and go ahead and continue the last example with another um, video.